Good morning! We have woken up in this extremely surreal and cool anchorage. It was early autumn, and we were tied to a rock on Sweden's west coast. In the next few days, we had to make our way down to Gothenburg, navigating narrow channels. It makes me feel alive. And ever more turbulent weather forecasts. We are flying along. Join us for a voyage in Sweden. Anyone recognize that boat? As a sailor, in situations like this, I always sleep with one eye open, which means I actually didn't sleep all too well. But I'm amazed how calm it was. We could have been somewhere on land. Yeah. Or the tide could have run out and we were firmly stuck. It yeah. was incredibly calm. Absolutely. And it's so nice because it was actually windy, but because of all the rocks, uh, no wave action at all built up. So the only thing that I could hear flapping was, was our flag. It was a really, really cold night. Um, and where are we going? We, we have are a place to go. Headed over to Elus, which is uh, where the boatyard of Holberg Rosses is. And this weekend they are having a boat show. So we're going to the Hobart Rossi boat shop. We weren't visiting the Halberg Rossi show in any sort of official capacity. We just heard it's an interesting show and you can actually tour the workshops where the boats are made. So we thought it was worth a visit. That looks like a really nice spot to go alongside. All right, here we are in the harbor. We're gonna go check out the boat show. Now, I have to be honest, in real time, actually an extra day has passed. So when we arrived to the harbor yesterday, I have a little bit of a cold, just feeling worse for wear. So I stayed at the boat and Aladino went to go check out the boat show. Today, we're both gonna go have a little walk around. It is a new experience for us going to a boat show and being recognized by people. Dini was recognized by a lot of people yesterday, so kind of weird, but we're gonna go and see what happens. Our YouTube channel is by no means huge, and we like it that way. It's sort of perfectly sized, actually, where we've got an amazing audience of people we really connect with, but not too many that it's overwhelming. We'll often get recognized by one or two people at a marina, but nothing crazy, and it's usually not outside the context of a marina. I really like this, actually, because it means that when someone does recognize us from the channel, we can usually have a proper conversation, and maybe even make a new friend. It feels human. Walking around the boat show was definitely a bit of a new experience for us. It was both flattering and very overwhelming, as people stopped to ask for photos and to have a quick chat. I've never been super good at small talk, always preferring to engage a lot with one person rather than engage briefly with many. So I hope I didn't seem too weird or awkward in person. This really was a new experience, and it was both heartwarming and very strange. 
We eventually slipped away into the workshops, which were also open for viewing and which definitely piqued Aladino's interest. This being a yard that survived many hardships that boat yards face these days, from bankruptcy to closure, it made it even more special to get a real behind the scenes look into their trade secrets. The little things get me excited and interest me often, like what caulking compounds, what modern glues, what tools does this yard rely on and work with. It was a truly magnificent experience to walk through a dozen boats all in a different stage of completion taking away any guesswork on how something was built and in what sequence. So many hoses. <laughs> wow. It was also very interesting for me to see some computer-aided manufacturing, from giant CNC machines to cut out interior parts to their unique varnishing machine using ovens, strong UV lights and sanding robots. These are some crucial changes to survive as a boat builder in a day of serial production. Time to go! There is wind! We're going to head south. We are now trying to get to Gothenburg to pick up a very good friend of mine who will be sailing with us for the next little while. Some of you may remember Marina from the Mediterranean, so I'm very excited to have her on board again, but we gotta get south to go meet her. All right, mainsail is up and reefed, and now comes the Jenny, or the Jim. We can choose. So right now this is actually very peaceful, really lovely sailing. We've got a lot of reef in, we could even shake some of the reef out. But in order to get to where we want to go, to get south, we have to go on the outside of this whole archipelago and to essentially be open to the Baltic Sea. And it's the gusts also, as you can see now. Yeah. I don't lose balance of the helm, it's easier to shake a reef out than putting it in. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye, Bocho! Bye bye, Elos! Bye bye, Elos! Summer is definitely coming to an end now. The air is chillier, the forecast slightly stormier. There's still some sun and warmer temperatures predicted, but the temperatures are on the whole starting to dive, and the days are getting shorter and shorter. are flying along. This is beautiful. So the wind is coming from the northeast, which means from land actually, so the seas cannot build up too much. If we would get away from the coast more, then they get room to build up. But as we're hugging the coast, as we scoot down, we're averaging six knots. Uh, it's really crazy. Uh, yeah, with double reef um, and I say reef uh, jib. So this is uh, a lot of fun. The navigation was tricky, lots of rocks and narrow channels to steer through with full sails. Really glad that we have tested out Navionics around here now for a month and so far we can say that it's really accurate, which is necessary around here.
clouds rumbled across the sky, casting shifting light onto the granite rocks. The wind swept us along. We debated continuing on all the way to Gothenburg because the wind was fresh, but we decided to take it easy and stop off for a night at Marstrand. We'd continue the journey the next day. Anyone recognize that boat? Who recognizes that? Ice bear. It's a swan and a it's swan in Marstrand. In cool. All right, here we are in Marstrand. Now a bit of time has passed. Um, in between filming, coming in and seeing Ice Bear at the dock and right now we have gone over and talked to Andy and Mia on board Ice Bear. So Ice Bear is owned by, well yeah, Andy and Mia who have a company called 59 North. They do offshore charters, but they're also really well known for having an excellent sailing podcast that focuses mostly on offshore sailing. It's a really good podcast and we have spent a lot of time listening to it. So it's cool to see them in person. And as it turns out, uh, one of their crew members, an uh, absolutely wonderful woman named Emma, came over and did an interview with us. So we're going to be on their podcast, which is crazy. Um, Emma, it was a joy to meet you. Emma is my age, and I just it's not that often that I meet other young women my age on who are really in sailboats. So it's always really exciting to meet a kindred spirit and to feel that connection. So thanks, Emma. So now, off to Gothenburg to pick up Marina. Oh, I'm so excited. Life is really good right now. Beautiful, wonderful, amazing, superb. Nice background too. So nice. So we are now going through a series of very, very narrow canals. And the navigation here, as in a lot of Sweden so far, but even a little extra here is tricky. You have to be very on top of it. You have to have the chart next to you at all times. And you have to really pay attention to the channels because there are huge amounts of rocks. Uh, a lot of them just under the surface and you do have to be on the lookout. But the charts are excellent. Generally, things are really well marked. So if you're paying attention, there should be no problem at all. It's magical. It really is. Best canal so far. <laughs> I mean, it really does feel like we're in a canal system. Yeah. Can you believe these houses? Wow. I mean, they're so nice. Yeah. I, I actually mostly look at the detail that they have a boat dock, but <laughs> the houses, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I do look at them. <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's lovely though. It the, really is. The summer houses around here are just unparalleled. I mean, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. It's a bit far away, but unfortunately over there is a sailboat on the rocks. Wait, am I pointing to the right thing? It's hard to... Oh yeah, there. Which always sort of just sends a pit into your stomach when you see that, because there's always an element of... Um, yeah, understanding that that can that can kind of happen when you're not very vigilant. Ruin your day. When you're not very very vigilant, vigilance is key and can be tiring. That's why, as a sailor, it is important to take breaks sometimes and be in a safe spot where you don't have to be as vigilant, like in a harbor, in a well-protected harbor. Hey, Aladino. Hey, hey. Are you sailing wing on wing? Yes, all the time. Very nice. It's so smooth here. Yeah. The flat water really is so rare anywhere else. And here it's so common. Yeah. Um, there's, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. It's really nice. So give us some tips, Aladino. Wing on wing is a notoriously difficult point to sail. To, um, to sail. Yeah. How do you do it? 
So I ease the mainsail out a little more, even though then the mainsail is touching the spreader a bit and the shrouds. Um, that is a problem because of chafe, of course, but since it is flat, the mainsail is not moving and then does rubbing. Mm -hmm. So by letting it out more, you just increase your safety margin of uh, not risking a jibe. And also there is no distraction allowed. I am at the tiller. Mm -hmm. um, so it is, it, you have to be more active. Yeah, but you do have quite a few degrees where you can uh, steer the boat wing on wing. Winter is coming! <laughs> I can say it every day here since I arrived in spring. No. <laughs> but we are now approaching Gothenburg! Yay! It was a long day, but yeah. it was uh, nice, nice, yeah. filled with sailing. Yeah. And I'm glad to arrive now. There's a major shipping port here, which supplies Sweden with huge amounts of goods carried from overseas. For smaller boats like us, it also means you've got to be alert. It's a busy port, and you don't want to play chicken with these huge ships. Although, as it turns out, in this instance, the big ships were the least of our worries. Oh my god, there's a sailing race, or perhaps several. So happening many. right in front of the harbor entrance, which is a bit stressful because it means we have to somehow find our way through it. Yeah, all sailing schools are out. Yeah. Then there's two kayakers here. There's this and very the thing right here. So we're actually going to go around and then in behind this island and then kind of just sneak into the harbor because it would be a nightmare to try and cross here right now. There is foiling moths, then I see a whole school of lasers, some of them are upside down, I see 49ers, <laughs> and then there's a smaller class like J70s racing, and the bigger class that I don't know what it is, also racing. Yeah, it's there's a lot, a of lot boats. going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So we wove our way towards the harbor, through the rocks and the freighters and the small boats tacking back and forth. Here would have a quick resupply, pick up Marina, and then some brand new adventures would begin. So join us next week for the next leg of the journey as we find some really spectacular places. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps us out. If you really enjoyed the episode, um, we would love it if you could consider becoming a patron. Patrons really keep this channel alive, and we are so grateful to them. In exchange, we post real-time, behind-the-scenes content on Patreon every week, so you get to know what we're up to in real time. And uh, an extra big thanks to these folks who always go the extra mile to make sure that Magic Carpet keeps being produced. We will see you all next Friday.